Alright guys, today I got a 2013 F-150 with a door speaker that sounds like garbage is blown out and that's a very common problem I would say from 2011 on uh, whereas the early models they had problems with the door wiring harnesses causing problems the new ones we got cheapo speakers in here from the factory and they blow out and they sound like garbage after a while and it makes sense because the new ones cost about $8 from Ford so uh, I'm going to show you how to pull a door panel off here all the screws and pieces so we can get it off of there and you guys can put aftermarket speakers in there or a new Ford speaker whichever you prefer and uh, we can do it ourselves without damaging this nice door panel it's probably really really expensive over here in the door handle there's a cover right here to hide the screw inside of here it's got to pry that up and get that cover out of there and then there's an 8 millimeter screw underneath it get it out of the way get that out of there alright the next thing you need to do is get to this cover that's behind the door handle here and it's kind of tricky to get to you can see it in there we need to get back in there and hook it and pop it out otherwise you're going to chew it all up trying to get it anywhere around here so I've used this before it's got an angle to it but something like this is the absolute best and we'll get it in there hook it and pop it out. It'll look something like this, we're hooked behind there and then we're simply gonna pull. And it's gonna pop pretty hard, mine was of course pretty loosened for uh, video reasons. And after that it should fall right out of there. Another 8 millimeter bolt. Now the last two bolts we gotta take out are two 6 millimeter bolts. And they're at the bottom of the door panel here, at the very bottom. One there and one down here. And after that, this whole door panel lifts right up because it kind of hooks into the door skin. So let's yank up on it, like that. Okay, so once you get the door panel unhooked from the door skin, you're going to have to come over here and disconnect a couple connectors. Here's one for the master window switch. And then there's another one right here, a small one for the master window switch. Those two disconnected. And then over here, there's one for the door ajar, the door uh, lock switch. And then even further over, you'll see one for the mirror switch. And that looks like that. After that, what we got to do is disconnect this uh, little blue retainer on here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you see that little ear right there sticking off? And then there's, there's this one too. You got to squeeze them together, pull this through, and then disconnect it from the actual door handle, and you'll have the door panel free then. And it should look something like this. You get both those tanks pushed in, and then this will pull through, out, and then disconnect from here obviously and then the whole door panel should be free. And there's the speaker. We're gonna need yet another socket size. We're gonna need a 5.5 millimeter to take this one off of here. There's four screws. And then it simply disconnects right here, pushing the tang, pull it out, get your new one. Same thing going back in, reconnect it till it clicks. And then we're going to put the door speaker up in here. And we're going to get all four of these started by hand so we know it's evenly uh, tightened on there. And we're going to hit all four holes and make sure it uh, sits flush on there and it's vibration proof as much as possible. And if you are using power tools on these, uh, these screws, just make sure you're very you know, mindful of the torque you're putting out. I have a feel for my tool on here. Or you can strip these plastic retainers. Let's tighten them crisscross. Okay, so hopefully this helps out. I know these speakers are notorious for sounding horrible uh, in these vehicles, and if you want to change them out to aftermarket or replace them because you're out of warranty otherwise, with the OEM ones even, uh, this is how to do it. And this is how to do it without ruining the door panel in the process. So hopefully you guys are liking the new camera angles. I got this new mount and it wraps around anything and I can get in there nice and deep and then work with 
with two hands, and you guys can see exactly what's going on a little bit better with the lighting and all that stuff. So uh, that's about it.